it's here. If you've been watching this channel for the last couple weeks, you might have heard us say, we don't have the internet. Every Friday when we have the internet back. We don't have the internet. Once I get the internet back. Sorry we aren't commenting below very much. We don't have the internet. Yeah. We still don't have internet in our apartment, so if we've been slow to reply to comments, that's why. Well, the internet is here. You didn't know it showed up in a box? In today's video, we're gonna show you how to get internet from a place that has the internet to an outbuilding which in this case is where we live. We're gonna help you if you already have the internet at your house and you want it in a barn, a studio, workspace, in an apartment on the property, wherever. Here's how to do a what they call a Wi-Fi bridge. And uh, the Wi-Fi bridge is in here. This is a kit. Let's get into it. Oh my, that's like really hard to get out. Oh. A Wi-Fi bridge sends Wi-Fi signal like shoots it Death Star style from one building to another. Only when it hits the other building it doesn't blow it up into a thousand million pieces. Instead it just sends internet signal so you can use the internet. Today's video, we're gonna set up this Wi-Fi bridge, and I have some special help coming because I'm not super internet savvy, but my special help is Tycon Systems Easy Bridge LT. There it is. Plug. Okay, not sure what that. Okay, so first thing, this kit did not come with any of the wires that you need. So, note to the buyer. The easy kit doesn't come with the cables that you need. So I just finished a trip out in that horrible weather. To pick up some ethernet cables from Walmart. They were actually pretty reasonable. So if you like me didn't order your cables ahead of time, get them at Walmart and you're good to go. But better than running to Walmart to get them, links below for the cables that you'll need on Amazon. Just figure out the lengths you'll need them in. So now it's time to set this up. So we're down in the basement. This is the friend I was telling you about. This is Kyle, and he is here to save the day because he knows about internet, right? Yeah. You know about internet, right? A little right? bit. All right. So we're gonna snake the wire first, uh, get it all in place. I bought a 75 footer, so we got plenty of wire to work with. Once we're done snaking it, we'll start to hook stuff up and test things, and uh, then we'll show you how that works. Let's get to work. The wires run, but it's not hooked up yet. We have to attach our, what are these? Like satellites? Is that what you'd call these? Receivers? Receivers. Transmitter receiver? Yeah. He's the internet guy. Uh, then we're gonna plug everything in and we'll show you how to do that step by step. So now we gotta go outside. Hopefully it's done raining. I actually see sun, which means we could get the drone out. Oh, and that's yeah. really why he's here. He wants to see the drone. Yeah. <laughs> About the you almost could care. I mean, if you have 10 megs download, you're fine with yeah. that. You need the upload. It's the upload. Very few people need upload. No, it's a rare thing, but yep. for me, it's all my all, every day. I got a you know, couple meg video that's got to go up. We're on the receiving end of the Wi Fi 
uh, beam. Uh, this is where we're gonna put our uh, receiver and then put a line into the house, into our own router and get the internet. So we're gonna set this one up now and uh, we're gonna work quick because it is hot up here. You can see I am sweaty. All right, so now we just gotta put this bottom on. And they made this really nice and simple for us. <laughs> they did. Come on. Oh man, come on. How much are you enjoying life right now? I'm loving life. I just think of all the Star Wars I can stream later. May the force be with me. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Like a seesaw, you get the one and, oh man, that was, that's, that's gotta do it. Okay, there, you got it. Yeah! Woo! Bye guys, got it. Oh, I am swimming. Anybody want to buy a Homesteady shirt? <laughs> did that just pop off? It did. It just popped open! <laughs> That's, that's why that's why I had him come. That was the hardest part, running wires outside in the heat, setting up those uh, receiver b satellite base things. Um, now we just got to go over, plug this feed line into the like home home uh, router where there's internet. Yes. Correct. And then we're gonna come back here with a laptop and a cold drink and we're gonna sit at that table We're gonna see if the internet works and if it does we're gonna explain will. and it will and we'll explain what happened If it doesn't work you haven't seen this video because <laughs> we didn't produce this video <laughs> Okay, tell us what you're doing now. Okay, so This one is going out to our antenna the wireless bridge right here this one that we have right here is going to be going into the router. In theory, everything it's should be working. Play. Call this a plug and play system. So if you had all your tools ready and you were ready to just run wires and set everything up, depending on how hard of a uh, wiring job you were doing, uh, it could take an hour, it could take two, three. Ours, without filming, might have taken about an hour and a half. Now let's see if this Internet for Dummies is actually working, or if we're just dummies. <laughs> so we got it. Right now we have a very ugly setup. <laughs> you can see it behind me. It's just like all over the place. We're just making sure it's working. No point in zip tying it to things and making it look nice and neat if it's not working. If it's all working, we'll make it look good. Kyle's a twin, like really identical. I mean, we think Kyle's a good twin, we think, but who knows, I mean, look twins. This. <laughs> I have a green light that says internet. Yeah, you do. That's a did good it, sign. Did I actually? Let's go. I'll Let's be see. shocked if, if this. this just works. Oh it my. It just works! What? <laughs> so it is, it is. Plug and play. Do a speed test on it real quick. Let's see what okay, speed Okay, we're going to do a speed test. Is that good? That's, that's, I mean, that's good for browsing the web, yeah. I'm more worried about what your upload's going to be. Upload. Let's see yeah. what upload is. Before, my upload was at 1. Now, keep in mind, we don't have these. There you oh, go. Oh, man. Look at that. 18. Yeah. There it is. Oh, so man. So it's working. Dude! Kyle watches the videos on the channel, and he, he wanted to come and see, how do you shoot the videos? You got, like, how many cameras and all those different angles? So I said, tell you what, I'm setting up a network, and that's what you're good at. You can see how I do the videos, you come help me with this network. So I had the big guns today. Kyle knows plenty about networking stuff. But he just said before we turned this on, he said, I don't even know what I'm gonna say, because this was too simple. When they advertise as basically plug and play, that's essentially what it is. Technically, we logged into it one time just to look over it, but... He had to geek out a little bit. Yeah. Like, that's why he was here. Yeah. <laughs> when you buy this kit, it's three parts. You have your big rectangular antennas, 
you have a little uh, plug, P-O... P-O-E. P-O-E. It's which, how the antenna gets power to it. That's how you get, you plug the cables in and that powers the system. And you have just your mounts to mount your um, antennas. So there's that's all that comes in the box. I went out and bought Ethernet cables. I bought a seven, two 75 foot cables and two 14s. You will need four for this system yeah. because why? Because one's going to be supplying the power and the data to the uh, to the antenna, and then the other one's going to be going to the router. And if you picture this system linearly, on one end you have your router, mm -hmm. then you have an Ethernet line that comes out of that and goes into that little plug, which the is the POE. Yep. Then another line goes out of that plug, Ethernet line, and that goes into your antenna. Correct. And that shoots a beam like the Death Star. <laughs> And at the other end is not a planet exploding, but instead, I couldn't help it. Instead, at the other end is another antenna which receives that Wi-Fi, creating the Wi-Fi bridge. That antenna then goes into an ethernet cable, yep. which runs to the other PoE, which is yep. plugged in, it's that little plug, gets plugged into a surge protector, and then out of that PoE, another fourth ethernet cable, which goes into your router, in your outbuilding, which in this case is our little apartment on the property, but it could be a garage, a garage shop, barn. And, and what was it? What was the device that you have there that we're using? Uh, this here is an Apple Airport. Have that set to bridge mode, so that way we don't have two multiple DHCP devices handing out addresses. So, so make sure to do that. If they have a router at the other end, mm. where would they find? And it might not be an Apple. How, what do they do to make sure that it's not going to screw stuff up? You just need to make sure um, to go into whatever router that you have, and there's plenty of documentations for all routers out there, and you're just going to look for a way to turn off DHCP. Mine was under network. Yeah, and it was called router, router mode. mode bridge. And then we had to turn his into bridge mode. That's what that we if, had to do there. If you don't have an Apple Airport, it'll be different, so should they look for something like... It'll be something very similar to that, like what kind of mode is the router running into, and that's what you're going to want to look for. Even though this was mostly plug and play, I would not have known to do that and Kyle saved the day. I would have messed up the internet at my in-laws and you definitely don't want to mess up the internet at your in-laws place. That's sure. always a bad play. Um, I think you were a little disappointed you couldn't be more yeah. techy on this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Getting easy these days. What do you think? I mean, yeah, I like this product. I mean, I, I don't work on it, these kind of devices all too often, but this one made it very easy actually this was my second one in many years I had no problem with this one very simple the cool thing about the Wi-Fi bridge is they say if you have line of sight up to miles if you have line of sight it will do it will send a very powerful signal whereas in a different video we will show in a different video we have we'll show the booster and how that works that does not work very far and it is much weaker we were running off of a booster this morning on the booster I was getting 16 download and one upload and now we're getting 40 to 80 download and like almost 15 to 20 upload. So we'll have a link below. It's an affiliate link. If you like this video, if it helped you out, uh, click on the link and you can purchase this kit. Don't forget also to purchase your ethernet cables. I'll have a link for those two below. They don't come with the kit. And if you use our links, it helps support the channel. And any of the shopping you do on Amazon, type in amsteady.com first, and it will forward you to Amazon and help support this channel. And if you're new to the channel, we do a lot of uh, farming and homesteading and self-sufficient videos. And uh, maybe you're into that sort of thing, so stick around to see more of that. Thanks, Kyle. Yep, couldn't have done welcome. it without you. Or maybe we could have, but we didn't know that at the time. <laughs> no. So couldn't have done it without Kyle and not make my in-laws mad. So you definitely were vital <laughs> right. today. And now we're gonna go fly a drone. Awesome, man. I, I'm hoping that people understand because there was not much there was not much technical to it. It really wasn't. Like, you, if you did that, you would've just been able to plug in. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's fly some drones. I wanna fly a drone. <laughs>